Oops. Um, that's not what I want to say. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. Oops. Hope you guys can see that. make sure this isn't going to fall over. I think I'm good. That's what I get for cleaning the office. Shit. Let me see. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Stop typing. Mimi, find it. Stop typing. Every time you type, that box pops up. You folks got to practice beforehand. Thank you, Tamika. Oops. Oh, great. What did I do now? Did I turn the camera around? Oops, sorry. Thank you, Javier. Drink your water.
Brenda, I sent her an invitation. Hopefully she can click on a link. <clears throat> May the light of God surround me, the love of God enfold me, the power of God protect me, the presence of God watch over me. Wherever I am, God is and all is well. <laughs> Mimi, you do ask the most absolutely divine questions, you know that? I just love you. This young girl just asks the most fucking brilliant questions. Okay, Pleiadians. Okay, Mimi, hang on, just hang on. We're, try we're trying to tune in there. Oh, girl, I'm just now seeing what that is. Leslie, are you here, Leslie? Well, you saw that, so I guess you I guess you are. Right now, just this one, because this is going to be quick, and I'm getting off of here, and go take a nap. You, you're right, though. Usually, I'm on YouTube and here. <laughs> I was just thinking about you yesterday, and I said, let me go pop over and say hi to her, and then somebody called, and I got sidetracked. I apologize, but it is nice to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. See, and I know everybody's thinking you're so special because I don't talk during readings. <laughs> well, to other people. <clears throat> Is she here yet? I got to go on. I go when you get here, you're going to have to re-listen to it, honey, because I got to keep it pushing. <laughs> And mine's three now, and she still poops on the carpet. <laughs> Is she here yet? Nothing yet. I'm waiting for her to get here. But I'm going to stop waiting because a girl got things to do. I, I really didn't. Okay, everybody, i I got to end all the other conversations now. I can't wait for her to be six. Maybe then she'll learn to poop on the puppy pad. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let me see. Okay, so when I originally saw this picture, I, I thought it was a bird in a picture frame. Or, uh, you know how in the old days they had, uh, like, the stencils with the imprint in the... 
metal or something. That's what I thought it was. And I'm like, why? Okay, spirits, what am I supposed to tell her about this? The tin that you put like accessories on. That's what I thought it was until now. I pulled it up larger on the laptop. And <clears throat> to me, it looks like, to me, me, okay, this me, okay, not, not, not we, me, a whale, when the water shoots out for it to breathe, okay, got to change crystals, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know what you, you have been trying to do. But they're saying, we see her. Would you tell her we see her? We hear her. Just be patient. Just be patient. So, there's some guy who, he's, he's standing right here, peering down at me as if I owe him money or something. So, you remember the guy from the Green Mile? He's kind of, but not as, Okay. But he's, he's as, you know, so he, and he's really, really, really dark. Of course, he's got a little bit of belly, not, not a huge, big beer, beer belly. Um, he has something, it's either a tattoo or something on, on this arm. Uh, I want to say it looks like a birthmark because he's ha holding his hand this way. So I'm looking at whatever it is you know, this way. So it's just on the top of his arm. It looks like a birthmark or a very old tattoo. So I, I, I can't see it clearly yet. But he's just, he's holding his arm like this in front of him. Excuse me. And he has on a, um, a half, uh, um, uh, sleeve, white shirt. Little tiny buttons, like the old-fashioned buttons for men when they're real real tiny, like women's buttons. So I don't know why he's showing me his buttons. Hear it now and think about it later. And, uh, okay, so now I'm going up his big... I mean, he's huge. He's huge, okay? Uh, he's huge like Witchamajigger in uh, in uh, Daredevil. You remember when he played in Daredevil? And he, you know, gained all that weight and he looked like he was eight feet tall that's how this person looks. He says he's an uncle of yours. I don't know. <clears throat> he he just comes with the vibration of the picture you sent. So uh he's he's bending down to me and he's whispering ever so softly, "You tell her to stop doubting and be still. She already knows what it means." We've told her several times. She even looked in the bathroom mirror and said, Hmm, I wonder if they're talking about this. Yes. So, see, we all have our answers all along. <laughs> and it's so fun. I don't know. I don't, you have to write this down or keep the video link or something. Because he's showing me all of this for a reason, okay? He's showing me all this for a reason. I don't know why yet. He just keeps showing me his arm. He's showing me his white cap sleeve um, shirt. He's showing me his buttons. He's like standing in front of me. And they know I hate to have to crane my neck. Especially since I still got a little bit of that crick left from yesterday. And he's making me crane my neck up to the ceiling to see him. Which means a lot of things. He could have died being a very popular man in your community he could have just been a big man like you know back in the i don't know judging by his shirt i'd probably say you know 50s 60s um even though i really feel i want to say 20s but because he's showing me his shirt so up close uh leslie um i want to say it's right in the late 50s beginning 60s um and his voice he has such a soft soft deep voice but it's so freaking melodic like um uh did you see uh, uh underworld with um 
oh, I can't think of that chick's name, but she's always playing in, like, Frankenstein and Underworld and vampire movies where she has to do a lot of fighting and tumbling and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I can't think of her name. Anyway, uh, he must have had some type of clout or he's big for some reason. You know, either he was, like, the main guy people would go to you know, for advice or money or women. I don't know. You got to ask him because he ain't telling. I still can't see his face. I only know he's dark because I could, he has a couple of buttons open so I could see like this much of his chest and he's dark. He ain't blue black, but he dark, okay? And, uh, yep, he's still standing there towering down looking at me. Could you please shrink yourself? I know you know how to do that because you made yourself big. I really don't think that you were born and you grew to be eight feet, okay? So can we just, like, shrink it down, shrink it down, okay? You're going to give me another crick in my neck, uncle. Um, okay, so now at this time also he's showing me some... Uh, it feels like you burnt that candle for paper. Something about paperwork. You're buying a car, a house, probate, something. And uh, though the legal worm didn't pop in yet, though I'm surprised, um, he wants you to know to just take your time. Stop being in a hurry. What are you in a hurry for? You know it's going to be great. Just be patient. Have somebody and somebody and somebody and somebody else, and then when you get the paperwork back, reread it backwards. So you can see that fine print, okay? You need to see the fine print because there's something there that he wants you to see. There's something there and you have to find it, circle it, date it, change it, and all that other good shit that you do with paperwork. Okay? So again, it still looks like a whale to me spouting its, you know, water out of its blowhole, whatever the fuck it's called. And because of that, I want to tell you that, okay, what is, a, what is a whale related to? A whale is related to that big old huge ocean, which means you are in some type of situation and you feel like you're just this big and you're not going to conquer it. You are. You are. And you know you are. Just be patient. Wait. Relax. What else do we have to do? What else do we have to do? Okay? Be still and be still. That, that's what we have to do. You have plenty, billions of other things to be thinking about, wondering about. You, you know, you could be finishing that pro, oh, you wanted to start a, you wanted to start a business or something. Take notes on that. You, you have a lot of other things to be doing right now besides worrying about this one thing. And you know it's going to come to pass and you know it's going to be all right. You know, great granny got you. Uncle got you. Okay. Um, he says Ralph, so I don't know, call on Uncle Ralph. You know, just call on him. He he might show up in interesting ways, like a great big gust of wind, because I see all the papers that you have laid out on your kitchen table are tumbling over on the floor now. So you, you might want to put them more together. So when somebody opens the door and that great big wind comes through, they won't all end up mixed matched and on the floor, okay? Um, there's some auntie now that's riding in on his vibration. And this auntie, uh, she, she, back for the, uh, what is that? A, a bright orange dress with huge, um, fruit, uh, pieces on the dress. So I don't know what year that would have been. 60s, I, I, I think. Okay. Because she doesn't have a big old huge Angela Davis fro, but she got a nice little Angela Davis fro, okay? And, and she comes in on his, you know, spirit tales. And she's just going, like, I told you, I told you. So you already knew. You've been forewarned. You have, you know, they told you many, many times in your dreams. You just keep not, not wanting to believe it. And you don't have to believe it. But at some point, you could just stop asking. Because you already have the answer. You already know. Okay? So... We're going to take Uncle Ralph and Auntie Anita, okay, Auntie Anita with you, okay, and they're going to help you through this process. You you need to call on them, though. They're, they don't just, you know, get up and, and go to work and sit and wait. 
in the spiritual corner over there in your living room and just wait for you to ask. No, they got other people to help and other things to do. So when you open your mouth and say, hey, Uncle Ralph, I need help. You know, could you please bring to my doorstep, you know, a person to help me do this, da, 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 you know? Uh, could you please bring some, the divinely right person that's going to help me, you know, fix my, you know, plumbing? Whatever. They got work to do, too. They're not just on the other side twiddling their fucking thumbs, you know? So, call on Uncle Ralph. Call on uh, Auntie Anita. She's so cute. She's showing me the hem of her dress for some reason. So, you know, this was in the early 60s, so it was, the dresses were, you know, that, not puffy with all the petticoat shit underneath. Uh, excuse me, tulle. So specific. And, uh, it, but it was, had the, you know, where you gather it around the waist, so therefore it went kind of like this all the way around the hem, right? So I don't know why she's showing me the hem of her dress. I, I think she made the dress. So whichever auntie's on the other side that's a seamstress, it's that one. Because <laughs> now, I, now I can see it, right? So it's real close up like this. And there's one little thread hanging off the bottom of her dress. And <laughs> she just snatches the fabric away from in front of my eyes. Because it's like this. She's, they're, you know, they're like this. And they're showing me just one area of whatever they want me to see. So she wants you to see that specifically, okay? So, um, yeah, so the, the candle, it's good. It's good. It's good. Good is coming. A whale size good is coming. There you go. Whale size good is coming. Okay, so, um, and see, did you know, did you notice that even, uh, the, the pattern on this, whatever tray you have on here, it's like little water droplets. Did you notice that? It looks like it rained on that section of the tray and the whale is in the rain. <laughs> nice, good, clean burn, though. Did you notice you don't see any black? Uh, it doesn't really look like it's spattered. Sometimes, well, I don't know about you, but my candles, sometimes, you know, they... And they sputter, and it, you've got a little couple of drops over there and a couple of drops over there. So you don't have that, okay? So that's good. And I feel it's a nice, good, clean burn, honey. So look for your good to come in, not by one specific way. That's our humanly problem. We expect it to come just this way. And if it doesn't come this way, we can't see what's happening over there and we can't see what's happening over there. So you miss your good because you're just tunnel, tunnel vision and only focusing on it coming this way. No, your good might, it might come from over there and hit you in the back of the head and you'd be like, what is that? But you still don't take the blinds off. You feel me? You feel me? Okay. Um, anything else? Type fast. I don't know why my nose going to feel like it's running. Sorry, I forgot to turn the notification thing off. Uh, okay, so um, those of my students that are here, um, you got anything you want to say? Type it. Hello, Leslie, are you there? Okay, I'm guessing not. Let's push on. Well, you know, students, if you got something to say, just go ahead and type it for uh, Leslie if you if you picked up anything. Moving on. Okay, Mimi, it's your turn.
Mimi, I want to tell you that, yes, they are, but not nearly as much as, um, you're welcome, honey. Not nearly as much as uh, a lot of other uh, aliens that are helping you through your daily life get over all that stuff you just went through last year. And we know what you mean. We know what I mean. <laughs> um, they are, but it, on a pie, they're showing me a pie. It's just one little thin piece taken out of the pie. So they're that. Okay, but they're there. If you choose to only talk to the Pleiadians, that's cool. They're there, but there's a whole bunch of other... You know, billions and billions of them wanting wanting to talk to you. The main one, the main piece of the pie, the largest piece of the pie, I can't even pronounce it. So what what I see in my head is like I don't know, and this is not a put down. It's only an example. So don't nobody fucking write to me about this, okay? Um, no, the other Mimi. Sorry, am I? Am I? Sorry. Um, the person that leaves questions get answered first. And these two ladies asked their questions yesterday when I wasn't feeling good. And I normally do readings on Friday nights and not Saturday nights. Uh, the name of this particular species starts with an M. And what it looks like in my head is Russian or something. I don't know. And it's 26 character long, so do your research. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All I know is I, I clearly see the M. So whichever one of them, whichever one of y'all starts with an M, could you please go to her dreams and tell her what it is? Okay, so that's the biggest chunk of the pie, okay? Uh, hold on, Mimi. Okay, everybody sees that question that D just asked? That's not a specific question. Um, okay, go on, I'm listening. Why do you guys always have to be over my head? Didn't we have this talk before I turned the cell phone on? Just be right here, okay? Why Why you always make me crane my neck up to look? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're tall or short or big or thin. You you can resize yourself. You you do it all the time. Okay, who are you? Um, your your mother's mother is on the other side. Yes or no? So, again, your mom's mom is on the other side. Yes or no? Okay, I'm just going to pretend like you said yes. So, there's a lady here. She appears to be uh, about five... Three, uh, she's showing me herself when she was older and she got really, really slender. Um, she's got the stereotypical little pink, but I don't think she wore makeup. She wore lipstick and she always attended to her hair very nicely. She's showing me the calendar. Every six weeks she went and had her hair done. <laughs> she's so cute. Um, she has a natural blush cheek is what I'm trying to say. Because I'm looking at her dresser. There's no makeup. There's lipstick and there's perfumes and there's powders on her on her dresser on top of her cute little doilies and her little... <laughs> her cute little... <laughs> She's showing me her cute little um, trinket box. That's what it is. She's showing me her trinket box. And she is so, so precious, right? So now we're, she's... she's 
waiting me into her cute little kitchen because you know back in the days they had a kitchen just this big right well of course the richer fancier houses had the bigger kitchens but anyway she's showing her pretty pretty much a small kitchen right for today it was it's a small kitchen and uh, she's she's pointing I could just see her just the tip of her finger and she's pointing she wants you to sit down she's gonna be making you something to eat so that means you need to eat more she wants you to eat more. Okay, now she's bringing out the buffet plate. You know what a buffet plate is? That's not the regular plate that you eat on. When you go to, um, I don't know, for me, usually Mexican restaurants, they bring the big plate of food. Okay, so she wants you to eat more. Um, she's showing me, um, what is that, uh, uh, that? One of the monitors in the hospital where the lines go like this. I don't know why she's showing me that other than you need to calm you need to calm down. You need to find something to do to calm down and take your mind off of all that old stress. Because you it looks like in the in the corner over there, it looks like it, the papers are stock stacked four feet high. And they're you you know how you can smell papers and they and the it smells old, not mildewy, just old and dank like an attic, you know? So she wants you to get rid of all that bullshit. Go to get some therapy or something, talk about it, get it off your chest, and let it go. You did what you were supposed to do, now let it go. Go make new friends. Um, I first saw Martha, then I saw a Pat. Do you know either one of these people physically? If not, then they must be on the other side. But I'm kind of sort of thinking that they're your two new friends. Okay? Moving on, write that down now, think about it later. Um, uh, are you trying to get a car? I'm seeing a car with the thing on the windshield. Uh, you know how they put that thing on there, and on the inside of the tag thing it says 50% off or whatever. Um... Okay, pushing on. Um, so, if that's in, indeed what you're trying to do, there's one coming, and you have to speak up. You have to get it, because apparently it's like free or almost free. And you have to, when somebody says, you know, I need to get rid of this car, do you want it? You have to, yes! Okay, not, uh, 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 well, no, give it to Tasha. She deserves it. Uh, no, honey. That's your car. That's your good. You did your work. You walked your talk. Now it's time to reap the reward. So every time somebody says, or you, you could be like me and not wait, and you could just like tell them that's what you want, you know, it wouldn't hurt. You would definitely get what you want, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, and I see a three, so it's a little three. Within the next three weeks or so, somebody's going to be having a car or something out of their front lawn even though this looks like a uh it looks like one of those old kind of dilapidated uh car dealerships you know where he has only like five cars left on the lot or something but i don't even see the five cars i just see this one car and i don't know what kind of car that is honey it looks like one of those old box toyota cars <laughs> i don't know i don't know i just know there's a lot of dirt on that car uh, like the Bumblebee movie. Remember that Bumblebee movie with the girl? Um, part two with the girl. Um, and you could just, you know, walk up to them and say, why don't you give me that car for a hundred bucks or something? And he'd be like, okay, come in and sign the paperwork. And you'd be, really? Oh, that worked. Okay. Yeah. Do it. It's your turn to get your good, you know? Okay. So anything else? That granny is just so adorable. She's around you all the time. Oh, okay, so now she's showing me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, we, do, we talked about this before. You know, when you, when you look at the light bulb on and you turn it off in your, in, your, in your eye, you can still see the light, right? So that's her, except she's, she's a cute little pink. 
Light bulb. <laughs> How appropriate, huh? Uh-huh. But um bum. <laughs> oh, she's such a little doll she is. She really, really is. You know? Oh, and her I don't know what she's wearing. It's either white shoulders or roses roses. Oh, she smells so good, you know, and she's still showing, she's showing you, me, uh, her trinket boxes on her cute little handmade doilies that it it feels like she made herself, you know, and she has, um, apparently your mother's, uh, So that would be your grandpa uh, crossed over before grandma because she's wearing her ring. So I'm assuming the other ring that's on the doily next to the trinket box is his. It's so cute. She's, hol she's holding it up for you to, to take it. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Don't make me cry, cry grandma. Don't make me cry. I don't want to do it. The aliens are always making me cry. Don't you make me cry. Um, that ring or something like a ring, she's trying to get it to you. I don't, I don't think she figured it out yet because I, I don't think she believed in this stuff before she went home. So what I see is this, that ring from great grand from grandpa is like floating in the air and it's trying to find you and get to you. So one day if you wake up and you're stumbling over a ring she finally got it to you okay oh man she she said she wants you to know that she loves you and don't worry about her an older her not your new friend her your it, it's an older person not quite my age 58 but 50 or so okay don't worry about her she'll be just fine let it go. You've done what you're supposed to do. Let it go. Find a way to let it go. Uh, you're supposed to be taking classes or something at the junior college, community college, co uh, community center, something. Did you do that? That'll keep your mind busy. You know? You Learn to use more, your gifts more. Do your gifts. Do your readings. Do your healings. Do your uh, cards. You do cards. Um, and stuff like that. Do that. Keep your mind busy, honey, okay? Okay. I love you. I hope that helps. And now you can have fun studying aliens. <laughs> I start with an M. I love you, my dear. Go be good to yourself, okay? Okay. And to all of you that have shared my broadcast, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, where where did we left off? Yvette, that's not a specific question. Brenda? Students, anybody pick up anything? Not er, anybody, only if you're my student. Answer. If you pick up anything, just type it out. You can't be afraid to be wrong. There is no wrong. Okay, hang on, going slowly. Oh, thank you, hun, for sharing. I appreciate you. Hi, sister. How you doing? Thank you for being here. I'm going to change your name to Faithful. <laughs> Jacqueline, you said how many social, social media <laughs> sites am I on? Yeah, because you know, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how to be uh, live on... Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram all at the same time. <laughs> oh. oh, my dear, my dear, it's so nice to see you. Minnie. 
<laughs> uh, in my head, you know, I still call you Minnie. You're so fitting. Okay, so Jacqueline, if you're still here, so the the two people that asked a question last night, I answered them first because they left a question when they were supposed to leave a question. Uh, I didn't feel good, and if I don't feel good, I don't do anything but lay in my bed and make wire wrap jewelry. <laughs> okay, I know I'm going to get there. Hang on. I guess I could have just pulled it up on the laptop. would have been faster, huh? NZ! Hi, 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 hi! <laughs> uh, uh, as soon as I read this, I got a headache, so I'm going to say no. Okay, so the headache is going away, so I'm like, okay, what is that supposed to mean, right? Oh, let me do this. Is that how I do it? Oops, sorry. Oh, look at your cute little face. Okay, first of all, let me let me say this. You know we all have free will, right? And then secondly, let me say this. There's somebody that's even taller than him. Somebody behind him that is taller. So, in three months, you're going to have a choice to make. If you still want him, sure, have him. Ask him to marry you. It'll be all good. But if there's somebody better, do you want to take that chance? A higher vibration. Less human stuff to think about. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just... You know how you see the invisible man as being invisible? He's got the, in, the lines that go like this around him. Okay, so your guy is like here, but the other guy is like here. Okay? So... In three months, you're, you're going to have a choice to make. And then you, you decide from there. They're both good. And you'll have a choice to make. <laughs> oh, choices are good. Choices are good. Terry Christensen. Nice to see you, my dear. Hi, Portia. Tamika. Do my uncle and... Big Mama and sisters hear me when I talk to them without the altar. You don't need an altar to talk to spirits, yes. Chase Campbell, how the hell are ya? <laughs> it's nice to have you in my vibration. Hey, sweet. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Hey, sister. She said, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, sister, you so funny. <laughs> you might. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, DG, where you at? Okay, let me go all the way to the bottom, see if, uh, okay, who said yes? Okay, uh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Hi, bet. Um, uh, 
DG, DG, DG. Do I get a keyboard? Hello? I done now did I touch the button again no look spirits fix this I didn't touch that lower right button okay okay hang, hang on just one second please hang on I have to solve this once and for all Okay. Ms. Glenn, are you here? Calling Ms. Glenn. Ms. Glenn, are you here? <laughs> the only thing I hear for you, Denise, I'm just saying, you're so beautiful. You look just like your mother. We're here. I'm thinking he's not used to coming through. Okay, thanks. I'm thinking he's not used to coming through. Oh, bless his heart. Bless his heart. Would you stop moving? I don't know why all of a sudden the screen is jumping now. Are you repeating yourself? Okay, hang on. Let me... Shaquana. Okay. Shaquana. Hang on. I already answered that. Enzy. Yeah, but you gotta remember, there's no such thing as time on the other side. So it could have been two weeks ago, but on the other side, it's, you know, 30 seconds ago, as it were. You know what I mean. But it, it's so, I don't know, I don't know how else to call it. It's so endearing because I could just see his hand just, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, you look just like your mother. We love you, we love you, and then poof. He's gone. Tita, how you doing? Nice to see you. There's no time on the other side. Okay, Shaquana. Shaquana, Shaquana, Shaquana. Okay, Leslie, well, it's here. You can watch it later. Where is Shaquana? question huh I answered you already in Z uh, hang on lady J I'm getting there okay here you go Uh, you're not seeing any of the questions, Brenda? 
you might have to do it because sometimes I don't either. And then somebody will instant message me and say there's 15 questions down there. And then I have to scroll down to the top and then scroll all the way back up again. And then they usually pop in. But sometimes they don't always pop in. Yeah, sorry. I, sh I should have told you guys that. Okay, so students, Shaquana <coughs> wants to know, what's my next move in my spiritual practice? Those type of questions, physical Tasha absolutely loves. Spirit doesn't really care. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, okay, so th I'm coming from the perspective in my mind, thus the chuckle. Chaquana. That's right, right? Chaquana. Uh, <laughs> before, between uh, 16 to 20, 2017, 2018, from June to June, I only talked to great grandmothers. Whoever that it was that just typed that, I love you too. Uh, so, I haven't talked to only grandmothers for mostly all this year. Okay? Because they came in with a boom and then they faded out till like January of this year. Okay? So, now for you, excuse me, I get a great grandmother. No, I can't see her, and yet I know it's her because all great grandmothers come in the all black dress, beautiful French lace with the thingy around their finger, you know. Mmm, she smells so good. Wow. Anyway, for some reason she's going like this. To me, um, that's 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 meaning it's on the ant. You already know the answer. It's on the tip of your nose. So you already asked this question before. I see, because now you got the chalkboard. So when spirit doesn't talk, they give the, either the TV that still sits on four legs, and you have to get up and change the channel. Uh, <laughs> and there's nothing on the chalkboard, which tells me you've already asked this question and you already got an answer. So that's why she's just going. You already know. You, you've been told. In any case, you already feel it. So you already know. So the only thing I definitely see is five different decks of cards. Two of them are like tarot cards and the others are not anything I've ever seen before. I can't even say they're oracle cards. They have pictures on them, but I've never seen anything like that before. So, I don't know. So, I would tell you, whatever card deck you see that it, that it moves you, buy it. Okay. And that is going to start you if you choose to do it. Okay. Because I can hear you. I can, you're just like the rest of us. You've got bills to pay. You did it, did it. And you need your, pick up your cards. Oh, now I see a teacup. Uh, I don't know why there's a boiled egg sitting inside the teacup. Write that down now and figure it out. Okay? Okay. She said, wow. Somebody said, wow. Okay. Wow is a good thing, I'm I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, um, it's a beautiful teacup, by the way. Some uh, yellow flower is in there and all around the outside and, of course, on the saucer. Uh I can't tell you about the boiled egg inside the teacup unless you're going to be reading eggs. Hey, everybody's got to, somebody's got to do strange types of gift giving. Maybe that's yours, reading eggs. I don't know. Never heard of that before until ooh, right now. Um, uh, she's handing you a book, what looks like to be, uh, you know, one of those little tiny Bibles, but it's really, really thick. So, if you see that in a metaphysical bookshop, or if you go to thrift stores, don't forget to protect and ground. Every, everybody here, don't forget to protect and ground, especially when you go to Walmart and thrift stores, okay? Serious, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 
okay? Uh, there's some little tiny, oh, it was black, now it's blue. So it's a, it's a, a navy blue book, and it once had a little, a little bit of cushion to it, because, you know, the book is only so big. It's a pocket book. You know, and we often call our purse pocket book, or we call something else pocket book, but we're not on that discussion right now. <laughs> um, so, oh, thank you, honey. A pocket book is literally that, a book that fits in your pocket, so when you're on the go, you always have something to read, right? So this particular pocket book, it smells dank, and it's old, and whatever is inside, she wants you to read it. So if you see something like that, just buy it. If you don't have the money, borrow it. Get the book, okay? So, and start practicing your gifts. And if you don't know how to do that, join my Angels, Teachers, and Guides course. I'm starting another one in a couple of weeks. That's it. Dive in. Protect, ground, dive. You've got customers waiting already, uh, Shaquana. Okay, Janae, Janae. So what I see, oh good, oh, what I see is a calendar and Monday is circled and Wednesday is circled. I know tomorrow's not Monday, but I'm taking it. That's what dad means. Tomorrow and Wednesday. Why do you just have to go one day? I don't know nothing about the, it, the specificity of the day, but I see two dates circled in red. That's what I see. Oh, Brenda, thank you. Brenda Kelly, thank you. Appreciate the good energy. Keep sending. Anna, it's just safer that way. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sister. I love you, too. Oh, okay. Bless your heart. If you had a question, you can ask it, you know. Bless your heart. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we're back at Tita. Tita, Tita. Hi, hi, hi. Latasha, Latasha. Thank God I moved slow. I would have bat right went right past you. I'm looking for cues at the beginning of the question. Ah, uh, well, it feel my stomach has cramps, so it feels like you've had three miscarriages, three something. Oof. Okay, you can go away. I don't need her feeling. Go away. I don't need that. I got no more periods and shit. Go away. Let me have it. Not for a while, honey. Not for a while. For a human. Two years. Because, see, what's happening now is, you know, a lot of uh, blame and frustration and stuff, human stuff, you know. And we have to get that off. And we got to heal. And we got to heal. And we got to heal. And then we can keep it pushing, you know. You're so hard on yourself. And you never, you never take your good. Why don't you take your good? You have to learn to take your good. Stop giving it away. You have to really learn to ask for what it is you want. 
and get it. Ooh, I just made a video about that and loaded it to Tasha Loves You yesterday. Okay? Bless your heart, honey. I love you. Oh, how sweet. Oh, thank you, Denise. I appreciate you, honey. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> Shaquana, I am a lovable kind of gal. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. I try. I try. Hi, Lisa. Um, I see the B, so I have to say breast, Brenda, Kelly, Brenda Kelly. I think we have two Brendas in here. Okay, hang on, I gotta get a tissue. Sorry, but you guys know I have to have my water and I have to have my lip balm. Brenda Young Kelly, did you hear me? Shaquana, what are you wowing? I hope that's a good thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you made cards. Way to go. Good for you. Make more and then you could sell them. If you choose to. Brenda Young Kelly, how much time do we have for what? Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, how sweet, Shaquana. That's nice. That's nice. Especially on what? What was it? The last, the last moon was on my birthday. That was the pink moon on the 19th. Really, Janae? Oh, how nice. Well, eat something really good out of the ordinary and have a blast. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. My battery is fine, but I keep... Oh, you know why? But if I'm using... Never mind. Spirits, would you please fix this, please? Make it stop doing that. Oh, okay. I, I see you, Shikana. I see you. I see you. Okay, where, who'd I leave off with? Sorry. She says, get out of here. <laughs> well, you just go ahead and create on. Because I got to tell you, that's the best way. We always buying shit and from other people. Pre-made in some factory or something. We can make all our own tools. We can make all our own, you know, medicine. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're all good. Whoever whoever wrote I Won't Converse, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, Yvette, are you still here? You know, Yvette, you know how in the Bugs Bunny cartoons, and they're, and they're looking down at the map, and you see the little red car going, tika 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 clear across country? Okay, well, not clear across country, but to another state, definitely. Oh, thank you, honey. Uh, definitely to another state, which is good. Oh, good, Yvette, you're here. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's going to, you're thinking, ugh, that's a long way, and how am I going to, no, you can't, no, 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 no. You cannot, we cannot continue to tell spirit, spirit's job. You just say, okay, if you don't choose to, then say, spirit, give me something else. And Spirit will be like, okay, but that's the second choice. That choice isn't as good as number one. And then you have a choice to make. Do you want the best or do you want the second best? The second best is right around the corner. You want to live right around the corner? Or you want to go, I mean, it doesn't look very far. Whatever your state line is, it doesn't look very far from whatever other state is next to you. I mean, it doesn't look like it's... 
mm, nine hours away. So for a move, just to drive nine hours, that's pretty damn good, I think. I mean, gee whiz, I moved from San Jose, California to Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, it's a little bit more than eight hours away on the bus. <laughs> anyway, so I can see the little red car on the map. Just chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> But it's going to be fun. I don't know I don't know why or how and all that stuff. But I am hearing music. And you're popping your fingers and you reach over in the seat next to you. So I, I'm assuming you're driving, you know, to, to your next place, right? So it's like, oh, okay, now I see the back of the truck. Okay, so you're following the truck, which is good. Because, you know, after my move got all fucked up, I'm not trusting movers ever again. <laughs> I'll go to Home Depot and hire some guys, you know. Um... You you got sandwiches and cookies and crackers over there in the seat, and you're munching and, and popping your fingers and singing the song and having a good old time. So for whatever reason that you are moving to the state next door, I don't know, uh, on the map, because, you know, the map is here in front of me, so I'm looking at the map. I'm not looking at it from your perspective. I'm looking at it from my perspective, okay? So you are the piece of paper. Okay, and it's just dee -dee 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 -dee, right that, you know, and it's not far. It's very comfortable. But when you get to the in, when you get to the destination, uh, it's almost as if um, it, it feels like you went like from Las Vegas, the desert, to San Jose, California, where there's fresh air because there's grass and <laughs> And more birds and bees and, you know, air. Fresh, good, clean air. So, I don't know where you're moving, but the air smells so sweet. It smells so, so good. Okay, I don't, I'm not seeing any pollution and big, huge, huge uh, buildings. So, I don't know where you're moving to. But wherever it is, it feels good. It smells good, okay? So, start planning. Thank you, my dear. I love you. Josh Kirby, hello to you. Holly Green, hello to you. <laughs> Shaquana. Uh, what did you ask me, Shaquana? Uh, okay. So, but you don't even understand. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm not here to understand. I'm here to do. And, and whatever words come out of my mouth from spirit, I got. I tell you they're from spirit. Whatever words are from me, I tell you it's from me. Aww. Um, Brenda Kelly, are you still here? Is that too much light? I'm seeing six months. And let me follow that with a disclaimer because that is not my gift. But I saw a six. Six days. I don't really think so. But again, I have to tell you the truth. It is, it is, that is not my gift. So I see a six. Shawana, we sure did bring the full moon in together because you know I'm out there on my patio every full moon every noon. Why does it keep doing that? Oh my goodness. Do you guys black out when I black out or do you still see me? Okay, never mind. Uh, I told you I was in Reno and you told me you is in last week. I did? Oh, okay, good. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember a lot of things in life. <laughs> That's not a put down. I just got to tell you the truth, okay? Brenda Kelly, you are so welcome, my dear. 
why does this what okay Janae so what's what about the setting that made me wonder that makes you wonder sorry oh hi Renee hi Maureen nice to see you Renee been a minute and I'm gonna be on more and hello to you too Liddell Okay, what about Cash App? I don't have Cash App. I have PayPal. Tasha Speaks. Mimi, what's anything? Specific question. I'm a spank you. You know. That's right, Shaquana. Spirit knows. <laughs> Janae. <laughs> Janae knows. <sighs> well, see, pretty soon you get whoever typed that, you can stop missing them because me and my, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Mimi, Brenda, I think you're the only two out of the four that are here right now. We're, we're going to be here next Friday, so put that in your calendar. Oh, you black out too? Damn, that sucks. I gotta figure out how to change that when I'm live on here next time. Well, actually, technically I'll be probably on the on the tablet live, but I still need to fix it. Thank you, Janae. Oh, okay. Thank you, Brenda Kelly. No, that's still not a specific question. I'll ask, but that's not a specific question. Um, okay, I could take this down now, I think. Let me see if I can. Hold on. Okay, I'll delete. I'll do it that way. Did it go? Okay, it went. Okay, here you go. And thank you, by the way. Anyone? Oops. No. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, actually, you know what? You said you had... Okay, uh, hang on, hang on. Let me think, let me think. Hang on, Mimi. The other Mimi is gone, so there's only one Mimi now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Tasha, you got, you're an org now. You're not a us. Okay, there you go. I have a donation button there. Okay, let me see, girl. Let me see. And I don't know why, but you know, Mimi, and, and I realize that's irritating to a lot of people, but hey, I got to work with what I got. And my spirits have always wanted a specific question. I think they do that to get people to think. You know? You don't... I, I can't just say, you know, tell me something. You're beautiful? <laughs> you know? So, I'm not doing that to be a pain in the ass or anything. Okay, Brenda, so if you, if you both just pop back in. Next Friday, students, we are going to be here. Don't freak out. I haven't told you what you're going to be doing yet. So don't even gasp. Um, I don't know because the spirits haven't told me anything yet. Are you sure? Uh, Safo, are you here? It's, you know, and you're, when you, when you start using your gifts, Mimi and Brenda, you're, you're going to see, you have to, you have to do it their way. You have to, or else you just get the chalkboard. So for me, the chalkboard is like, really, you're asking that kind of thing. You know, and especially when they show me the chalkboard, A, if you already asked the question and I'm not going to give you another answer, 
And, uh, oh yeah, students, this is, this is my, uh, sister Janae. She's going to be coming in at some point, uh, giving a lesson. Oh, how sweet. You mean my princess? Probably because her ass is on restriction. The carpet just got clean. She pooped. She just doesn't want to, anyway. Uh, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> so, Mimi. I, you know, it's it's just one of those things, I just don't question it. You know, people say, oh, you're so mean. Well, fuck you. I can't do nothing about it. Which, what? Spirits want a specific question. Tasha, ask my great-grandmother about the blue dress that I keep dreaming about, you know? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, Janae? <laughs> She gotta love me. <laughs> okay, I guess Safo isn't here. Uh, <sighs> Kali, oh my goodness. Mimi, well, you know. You already know, so I ain't gonna school you on that. You know. And I'm not here to give you note to be a detour. So I will say this about that, Mimi. Hang on. Let me sage up. As soon as I got this new phone, I put it on a two-hour timeout, screen timeout thing. I don't know why it does that. Mimi, have you had, um, there's, have, uh, I see three babies. Uh, usually when I see the three babies, I love the symbols in the readings, like the chalkboard. Well, sometimes it's not so good, because if somebody don't answer a specific question, or if they ask a question, and they've already asked it five times to somebody else, they get the chalkboard. Or the TV with the snow on it. I don't know if you're old enough to remember, Mimi, the TV with the snow on it. Anna and I, well, we're a couple of years older. We remember the TV with the screen on it that went off. And TV went off at midnight. And the land of the free, and the home of the brave. <laughs> and, and then you got the snow. <laughs> yes, we did. And the TV went off. I wish we still had that, you know? Anyway, just like I wish family still sat down, at least at dinner time, to, you know, be together, you know? But anyway, let me finish, girl. Uh, so... Um, I don't see Kali, but what I do see is something, I don't know what entity this is, that kind of looks like, uh, uh, dang it, Janae, who did, who did sister say, of course you can, who did sister say, uh, is the guy with the black top hat? And he looks kind of, sort of like Ilegua, but he's not Ilegua. Papa Simidi. Simidi? Simidi. 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 Smitty. Do you know who that is, Mimi? Papa Smitty? Simidi? Smitty. It kind of looks like that, but his face is like all black. But it looks like it's all black because he's got oil on it. <clears throat> Dang you, Safo. Bring your butt back here. He would know what I'm talking about. Um, no. Papa Legba don't always have, does he always have a hat, the top hat, the top hat, top hat, like a mortician wears, that. So, who is the, uh, the guy that looks like, uh, Ilegua, but he's not Ilegua, Sim Simidi, Papa Smitty, Simidi, something like that, who's that? Yeah, that one, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marcelo, thank you, okay. Except Safo, if you're still here, he looks like the Baron, except his face is all black. Who's that? 
He looks mean. Like, I assume, uh... Damn it, um... Ogun might look. Uh, not Ogun, sorry. Not Ogun, Chango. Like, I imagine Chango would look with his, you know, bucket of tools and stuff. He's black, black, black. Okay, Mimi, I don't know who that is. Write that down, figure it out. <laughs> Gotta keep it pushing. So, whoever that is comes to mind first. Um, I just, I still can't get over the black, black, the black, black face, like blue, black, okay? But it, it's all shiny and stuff as if he just picked up some motor oil and rubbed it all over his face. I, I don't know who that would be. I don't know. Um, Marcelo, any idea? Uh... Anyway, I see that entity for you more than Kali. Hmm. Okay, sister, I'll see you later. I love you. Be good to yourself. I'm trying to search. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. But then you know what? Okay, so it's this it's this guy, right? And then over here, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, like two or three steps behind him is Kali. And then next to Kali, there's a whole bunch of entities, okay? A whole bunch of them. So, okay, so now great-grandmother comes in. Oh, she's so beautiful. Now, of course, your great-grandmother would have to be different. So, you remember, I don't know if you're old enough to remember... This, you know, when the snatch back, back in the 70s and 80s, except she's got this huge, fluffy snatch back with a big, huge bun. And she's very proper in her stance. And it's like when she walks in the room, everybody, you know? <laughs> so, great granny. Is spanking your butt for something you did last week, Mimi. I don't, I don't know what you did or didn't do, but she's spanking your butt, and she says she knows, she knows what she did. So I'm thinking they told you to do something and you didn't do it, and so now you getting your butt tapped. <laughs> she's so beautiful. Oh my God. So she, she kind of. Uh, I'm trying to think. I want to say she's kind of my complexion. And she, her, she's showing me like the side of her face, you know, like this close. And her skin is just flawless. Not one pimple, not one ingrown hair, no hair. No, I, so I don't know. I don't know what that means, but she's showing me the side of her face, okay? Uh, and... And now I can see her, her eyes just went whoosh. And you know how in the, in tele-live vision, the, uh, well, the white witches, they always got that one good foggy eye and the other eye so foggy, like almost white. Yeah, it's not like that. But what it, <laughs> I said that to say it this way. Her eyes look really spooky, like they're looking through you, that kind of brownish, greenish colored eyes. So it's like the outside, not the white part, but the outside is a medium green 
and then right around the pupil is brown okay I don't know what that means write it down now think about it later and she's just she's just she is throwing bolts of lightning at you so I don't know what the hell you did but say I'm sorry <laughs> uh, sorry no Janae sorry uh, and she is just, she, but you know, she's so, she's not showing it until she looks you in the eyes. And then it's like, mm, you know, and you could feel that little mm, in your head when your, you know, grandmama, big mama would thump you on the head. That's it. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be feeling it pretty soon. That thump on the head. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Let me turn some light on. Oh my goodness. These great grandmas, y'all. Okay. Anything else? Oh my God, Mimi, there's a whole bunch of people here. I, no, 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 no. Because by the time I got to the end of y'all, I'll be hungry all over again. And I just ate lunch. Okay? No. If everybody has a message as a whole, I'll be happy to give it to her. I can't sit here and read for all of you. There's got to be like a hundred of you. You can go talk to her in her dream. You know you could do that, you guys. I mean, come on. You got work to do. I got work to do, too. But your work is gonna gonna be done in a split second in her dream. Um, okay, so back to the three babies. Did you have three miscarriages or something like that? There's three little babies here, and it's like they're stair steps. So like one year, the next year, the next year, okay? That they uh, decided to go home. I'll put it that way. Okay? Um... They're just standing there. They're not saying anything. So it's like, I don't know, like a nine-month-old, a two-year-old, and a three-year-old. And they're, they're all, you know, holding, holding hands. And they're just, they're just looking. Well, I don't know who they are. But they're just looking at you like, you see me? Can you see me? Hello, are we here? So, I don't know. But they're here, so talk to them. Talk to them so they keep showing up and up and up and up. Over and over and over, okay? I feel bad that that light is there. Hang on. Whee! Isn't that fun? I don't know. Just tell them, okay, those three children, come, tell me what you want. Okay? Okay. Let me see what Janae said. Uh... Okay, so you guys, when I hit like, you know I'm talking to you. Sorry, I should have said that. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, how cute. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what career you're thinking of, but this career isn't busy like the one you have right now. This career is, I want to say it's almost librarian type because it's so, whatever it is, it's quiet. The phones aren't going off the freaking hook. There's not people constantly whizzing in and out and by you and the phone, you know, the phone's ringing off the hook and all that mess. Whatever it is. You have your computer, you have your keyboard, and you're just typing. And you're looking over at what you're typing, and that's it. There's nothing on your cubicle desk. You know, the cubicle goes like this, right? you got the thing up there. There's light coming from back there, so wherever you are, you're, you're near a window or something. Okay? Uh, so hopefully you know what that is. And then, 
Okay, so now there's nothing. Why don't you have anything on your desk? I mean, there's nothing there. But now the... Um... <laughs> now, <laughs> sister, you, you can't just pop in here and write something like that in, in message. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so now your little clock poof shows up on the desk next to your uh, monitor. Okay, and then your mug is over there to the left. And you've got a cute little baby succulent whatever plant behind the monitor under the lights. I, it, I guess that's why it's back there. And that's uh, pretty much it oh, over there where the cubicle wall thing is. It's just, you know, the tray you put papers in, but it's just, it's tall, like it's on four legs, but there's only one tray to put papers in, and there's nothing in there. So whatever that job is, girl, take that one. Um, because I can I can feel you be bopping your head, and you're just typing, and you're like, <sighs> okay, huh. let me think about that. All right, let me do a little bit more, okay. And it's just mellow. It is just so fucking mellow. And you're so happy because I can't see your beautiful face, but I can feel your face smiling. I don't know what job that is. I just know it feels good. Looking at your desk, it's pristine. It's clean. It's not no hustle bustle. Come to work whenever you feel like, you know, do whatever online and call whoever you want to call and it's like, as, as long as your work gets done and you check in every day, that's all they care about. Whatever that is, do that one, sister. <laughs> I love you. Uh, Marcelo. Uh, yes. Not as soon as you think you're going to get it because another person that you filled out an application for like last year or something is going to be, hey, are you still available? And you'll be like, yeah. Okay, well, we want you to come in. and No, 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 no. And you got to put your foot down. No, 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 no. The rules have changed now. I want $20 an hour plus a, a what do you call it in the Silicon Valley, signing bonus. And blah, 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 blah. And I want, you know, three weeks paid vacation, and, you know. Uh, okay, well, you know, we'll talk about the $20, but, you know, nineteen fifty might be good. Okay, cool, nineteen i I'll take nineteen fifty, you know, or whatever, you know. You still got to be flexible. So you're going to get 75% uh, of what you want. And then this job is going to say, okay, come back now for your second interview. Now, do you want da-da-da? He said, well... Can I have this, 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 and this? Uh, no. Well, then I'll take the other job. Bye. Because we all have free will. So, yeah, that one, that one already feel. I see the eight ball going in the pocket. There you go. Okay? And you still have choice. You still have choice, okay? So, know that you have choice. Don't be willing to settle for just any old thing. Or... Take the job now, and when the other one... Oh, there's there's two other ones that's going to come back from the past. And that... that uh, What was that? Did you guys hear that? And um, you're going to have a choice to make. You know? And it's your choice to make. You can do whichever one makes you feel the most comfortable, okay? The most comfortable. Okay? And take it. And take it on your terms. Because I don't know what you do in life, but Spirit is really happy with you. You you got five gold stars. You just you didn't get just one like everybody else. You get five gold stars. <laughs> okay? So it, it's almost like that halo over your head is shining, honey. <laughs> And good for you. You deserve it. 
You deserve it. You deserve all your good, my dear. And it looks like you do a lot of good. So, I I really don't know what you do, but it, it, but what I'm seeing is the proverbial dirt road, and there's no pebbles in your road. Your road is so smooth that there's even grass growing on both sides of the walk walking path. Kudos to you. I'm serious. I've never seen because how I see the road is like um, in country movies, you know, with the with the tumbleweeds and stuff blowing, and, and there's no grass anywhere. And sometimes there's an old rickety wooden fence with the barbed wire falling off and shit like that. That's normally how I see the fork in the road. Okay, you're not a fork in the road though. You're just a road. Uh, but you get grass on both sides. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're good. I don't know what the hell you did, and it's none of my business, but you're good, okay? Okay, would you stop that? I Look, spirits, fix it. You post a been done, fixed it already. Come on. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, hang on, Mark. <laughs> Marcella. Driving cross country. Okay. It's a dirt road. Back in the old days, in the cowboy days, I, I don't think they had <laughs> that, but okay. Uh. Oh, really? Oh, good. Libraries are good. Give you plenty of time, hopefully, while you're working to read. That's awesome. I know it was, uh, Marcelo. It was some uh, old lady. That's okay, Latasha. I gave you your reading. Okay, Mark. No. There's some job you're going to have two, for two weeks and then that job. Because you're going to decide to love yourself and not just take any old shit thing to make money. Because that's not who you are. Well, temporarily it is who you are and that's why you, you took it. Uh, and that's okay. Because everything is a lesson. We already know that. So you're going to have this other thing... It looks like a newspaper. I see, you remember, I don't know how they do it nowadays, but you know that long belt and it folds the papers and it's got the rubber band things that are holding, push the papers down. That's what I'm seeing, so I don't know what that's about. But think about it. You see it, hear it now and think about it later. Um, so you're going to be there for two weeks and then say, you know, this, this ain't hitting it. And then you go home. And then they call and say, can you start in two weeks? And you'll be like, I can start tomorrow. Oh, okay. Good energy. Mimi, you're welcome. Latasha, it's okay. Janae. Well, I don't know because, well, I don't know about most places but when i was like on welfare when i lived in san jose and in gilroy there was a lot of them bosses their offices looked just like that and all they did was stay on the phone talking to people on the phone they didn't do no fucking shit ton of work with the managers so if you want to be a manager it's an option and we both know you could okay but their desk was all nice and polished and prim and proper and shit. They didn't have files up to here and, you know, they're pulling out their hair. And it, they, well, my, two, two of my social workers, they just, they were just on the phone. They would go get my file, come back, da -da 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 and put the file back. And their office was fucking pristine without a bunch of shit everywhere and topsy-turvy and it was... It, it was beautiful, you know? So, your choice. Tell the universe exactly what it is you want. And Marcelo, really, I thank you.
You're welcome, Marcelo. Because you're not going to be, I mean, you're going to be doing that, but a lot of your time is going to be doing all that other thing you said you wanted to be doing. Yes, I have, not I want, I have this managerial social worker position in return with good to all concern. Thank you, thank you, thank you, three times, three times a day, if that's what you want. Okay? And we both know you can have anything you want because you're fucking brilliant. You are. You really, really are. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. I know you don't give yourself enough credit. You're welcome, sweetheart. Oh, Mark. Wow. Okay, so the piano just popped in. What's up with the piano? You, oh, uh, um, mm, mm, you must be doing something with music, obviously. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know why the piano just popped in. It looks like one of those pianos that, um, it's not a... It's not a baby grand or, you know, upright or something like that. It's the electric kind, I think. It stands on four uh, legs. Okay, so that just popped into my head, so I don't know why. So, hear it now and think about it later. <laughs> but I, I, I well, I, I think I've only seen your hands a couple of times in, you know, in our, in videos. But it looks like your hands are are playing the piano, so... I don't know, because the other Mark isn't here, and I know he's a pianist. Uh, but I know what his hands look like, and I know what your hands look like. And they look like your hands splayed out on the piano keys. Be prepared for something different than you ever expected to show up. And don't waste time saying, hmm, what could it be? Just say, okay, I, I, I take it, universe. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because whatever it is, it's just like, you know, whoever I told, I can't see you smiling, but I can feel you smiling. And that's always a good thing. Okay? That's always a good thing. Hi, brother. How are you? Isn't it past your bedtime? That's my brother. Isn't he beautiful? I love you, brother. It is, it is best. Young man, your booty needs to be in bed. 7, 8, 9, 10, 53. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell. <laughs> ah, how exciting. Oh, you guys have such good, good, good energy. And see, now I'm getting hungry all over again. That's a good thing. Oh, Janae. Uh-oh, hold the phone. Somebody's going to want you to sing. Okay, so Janae, you remember you were telling us about the guy who helped you do the poem thing and the... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I hear so somebody's talking about you. So I think I think what they're trying to tell me is somebody's going to want you to sing. I, I don't know. I see a backyard like a kids party, but it, there's no kids. So it's like some some small gathering. There somebody's going to want you to sing a couple of songs or something. So I'm just I'm assuming because it's a small backyard, it's a small venue. You don't have, I, I'm looking down at you, me, and I'm not wearing anything like I would be singing at the opera or anything. You know, you have on a nice uh, three-quarter length black dress, skirt, and it looks like you have a, um, a white blouse on top. Um, let's see, you're holding the mic, and I see you're wearing a ring. And that's about all I can see. So I'm I'm assuming that the I hear is uh, the guy who helped you do the poem video thing is telling somebody about you. So it looks like there's a studio and I can see somebody over in the distance. And then it pops to the backyard, and I can see your hand holding the microphone. It's your choice. You got free will, but I'd take it, because that's going to lead to other things, and that's why you have that job with nothing on your desk. So you can go sing and do, uh, uh, what is it called? Spoken word and things like that. 
And I know you don't want to, but trust me, even after you sang a couple of birthday parties or whatever this is in somebody's backyard, you're going sore. And you'll be like, oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, but you can't turn down your good all the time, sister, okay? Um... Kevin, are you here? Yeah, it says you're here. I hope you're here. Kevin, did you did you go to Craigslist or something recently? It looks like one of those things like Craigslist where you click on, you know, I don't know, housewares. And then what do you want? I want a toaster. And then what do you want? Well, I want a Black & Decker toaster. And da -da -da -da. Okay, so there's a toaster there and it's brand new. Box has only been open a few days, and they've only toasted toast in it one time. So I don't know. I don't know why they're showing me this ad website type Craigslist ads thingamajigger. Other than if you're looking for something, so go looking for whatever it is on something like Craigslist or something like that. I don't know. Are you looking for something other than books? He's a bookaholic, you guys. My brother reads like five books a day. <laughs> He's so fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Hmm. I don't know, brother. That's all I see is... What I see is the, the site for Craigslist. But it doesn't say Craigslist at the top. I'm not seeing Craigslist. I'm seeing the ads like on Craigslist website. So I don't know what that's about, but check it out. Something is there that you want when you think, nah, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. And then you go there and it's there. So look. Look and never hurt nobody. You just might find what you're looking for. Okay, whoever is here left, who is, uh, if you happen to know, okay, so first I heard Mark, and then I heard Swanson. Does anybody know Mark Swanson? Mark Swanson, Mark Swanson, who's here for Mark Swanson? Brenda, are you here? It says you're here. Brenda, when you go to the hospital, did you meet a Mark Swanson? Mm. Dive in, brother. Dive in. Just hold your breath and jump. Okay, so, it's not a book, though. It's something else. Probably something that I can't mention, but they're not telling me what it is, brother. Okay, Mark. Good. Hold your breath and jump. Brenda? <laughs> your turn. Do you know this Mark Swanson? Okay. Well, next time you go... And you do the member your gift touching thing. Mm-hmm. And whoever he is, he's, I'm only seeing his hands. And he has like freaking, um, well, if I remember correctly, Liberace. He has kind of Liberace hands. They're showing me, you know, Liberace's um, glittery, glittery costume coat thing that trails way back behind him. So when you go to touch his hand, look at his hands. They, ha you know, he has, you know, a, you know, little baby nail like that on all his hands, not that, not just a little finger. <laughs> and he has beautiful, young-looking hands, but he's, he feels like he's 90 years old. But his hands are so beautiful. So next time you go, if you happen to bump into any old man at the hospital. He's walking, but he's walking with a, um, a cane. Okay? I don't know what else you're supposed to do to him besides hold his hand. I 
I didn't know I went anywhere. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Oh, I answered your question, Jacqueline. And you don't have to say anything. He looks like he's six foot tall. Of course, he's not bony, but he's thin. Oh, you know what it is? It's not a cane. It's a walking stick. It's a very nice gentleman's gentleman walking stick. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. And he's beautiful. You know who he reminds me of? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. I, you might be old enough. Do you remember um, Captain and the lady? She moved to the lake house. I mean, the um, the lighthouse. Captain and Mrs. Muir, remember? The Captain and Mrs. Muir? He looks like that guy. Probably except taller. Of course, I don't know how tall that guy was. Yeah, first I saw him and then I saw Vincent Price. So he could look something like that, right? Captain Tenille. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh. Mm mm mm. Damn, my peanuts are good. Um, I don't know why they're just showing me him. Swanson, Swanson, Swanson. And I even see the, the, the duck, no, the goose. But I think it's the company out here that delivers real good, expensive, flash, frozen food is Schwann's. But I'm thinking the food company Swanson and Schwann's both have a goose as their uh, logo or whatever. Hmm. So you already know what your gift is, so kudos to you. Mark Swanson. Mark Swan. Hmm. Yeah, because you know I'm not going to remember tomorrow. <laughs> Which is sad, but you guys, I'm already fat enough as it is. That's P H A T. Okay. Anybody else? Anna, I'm so bad. Hmm. Oh, Janae. Janae, do you remember what your um your grandfather looked like? I think he's your grandfather. I think he's your father's father. Tall, pretty silver hair. It looks like he has a gold. You know how Mexicans ha have the gold put around their tooth? I said he's got over here. Oh, you're here. <laughs> I was saying, oh, oh, Anna. Because <laughs> I know, but you type that and it popped up. <laughs> Sorry. It's still ping-ponging around in my head. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Well, hopefully before things get moved around too much, you might find that picture. He's standing next to one of those um, cars with the wheel frame thing that goes way high up. And the back is sloped down like that. I forgot what that car is called. But anyway, he's standing uh, Nick, uh, towards the back um, arch thing of the car. Mm-hmm. And he's just so freaking handsome. He remi I can't think of the movie star's name that he reminds me of. But anyway, if you remember Ricardo Montalban from the, the Fantasy Island Tall Guy, Except with beautiful wavy silver hair. Oh my god, I don't know who that is. I don't know, he comes in a grandpa vibration. 
Mmm. He's showing me his hands. Perfectly manicured. Beautiful, not one scratch. Oh my gosh. I love a man with beautiful hands, honey. Mmm. I don't know who that is, sister. Anyway, write it down now. Think about it later. He's still standing there staring at you, me. And he's giving you that look like, you know who I am. Remember. 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 You know, his pretty... Oh, he's got gray eyes. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen no black person with gray eyes before. Oh, sorry. He's not black. He says he's not black. He looks black to me. He's got a wide nose, you know. I thought it was his dad. It could be it could be great grandpa. He's a talker. <laughs> so now <clears throat> he's showing me a cup. And the cup is half full, which to me means he's, you know, half black and half Latin or something. So beautiful. So in my in my granny's days, he'd have been, you know, one of them pretty boys, you know. Mm. He's so good. And he's still standing there. Oh, I don't know. See, now I want to still say, was your dad a few shades darker than me? First he looked dark, and then he, for whatever reason, he got lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. You know? Anyway, so it looks like your dad and him are now standing together in front of that car. Whatever the hell that kind of car was. And he's got his arm around him. Mm. Well, just talk to him. Oh, how cute. <laughs> so now they're all three there. Great grandpa, grandpa, and dad. Wow. This is all time first. Usually I only see the women in, you know, the stair steps. Wow. Thank you, Janae. I will remember this day. For many years to come. Wow. That's just such a neat feeling. Oh my gosh. Okay, anything else? Okay, well let me back up and see who had a question. That is so amazing. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> I'm I'm saying she. she no, he or she didn't say she. I'm saying she. Who's me? Who's me? Oh my, who's me? I'm sorry, Brenda, are you there, Brenda? Well, they're there. Just talk to him. Hi, great grandpa. Hey, grandpa. Hi, dad. Send somebody to help do da 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 da. And they will. They will. But I'm sure you're going to find a picture of them before, you know. Okay. Brenda. <laughs> Whoever this is, they're hella funny. 
it, it is amazing. It is amazing because you're going to start right now. It's very Just think a thought and they get it. They don't need nothing written, recorded, nothing. Okay? Okay, Brenda, sorry. Who was your old person? Oba... Oba... Uh, Obadiah, right? <laughs> I don't really remember what Obadiah looks like, but I can see, um... Monsters. You remember the movie? You remember? Okay, thanks. You remember the movie Monsters? And there's a big purple one, and then there's a little green one with the one eye. So the big purple one <laughs> pops in in my head. It was me. But I relate that to Obadiah because, if I'm not mistaken, Obadiah was huge, right? See, a lot of times spirit will do that. You know, they do that little sparkly thing out the corner of our eye and we turn, it's gone. Or we'll see something crawling up the wall and when we turn, it's gone. Yeah, they funny. Really, the purple, big purple guy, or is he blue? From Monsters? <laughs> so, but now when I said, is that, oh, is that you, oh, because at first I couldn't remember his name, and then I saw the big, huge mass pop in front of my head, and, yeah, and then somebody else popped in with him. So now I'm thinking you got a package deal. What was Obadiah? Your doorkeeper? I think. So now I think there's two of them, and it was the little one. Not Obadiah. It kind of looks like Thing from um, the Adams Family. Except in cartoon form. That's what the little one looks like, okay? <laughs> and and so, of course you can't see any of the face, right? Because it's covered with hair. Well, that's what it looks like right now. So he's thinking, yep, we'll be back. Get used to us. <laughs> so you're going to be hearing that screaming uh, a lot more. I don't know either, but I know we gave you three. I know you had a master teacher, a guide, and a uh, doorkeeper. How funny. I tell you guys, if you only knew how hilarious Spirit is, I don't know why we always think they have to be so serious, like, you know, a mortician or something all the damn time. There's you're so funny. But you know what? Your energy is funny, Brenda. Happy funny. Not, yeah, funny. You know? Oh, I'm at 26%. Where's my battery? Oh, shit. Oh. I forgot about a 10-foot cord. There we go. Obadiah. That's an old name. I'm asking him, what? Oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, so I'm asking Cousin It 
what's its name and it's not telling me. So, when you call on Obadiah, you're going to get both of them. How funny. <laughs> Spirit is so damn funny, I swear. Hmm. Mark? Okay. You're already thinking too much. Let it go. We're never gonna get an answer, ping pong and ping. Let it go. You know when you're supposed to know. I don't like that either, but we don't have a, we don't have a choice. Just be happy that something's coming. I'm gonna be really, really happy. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Brenda. Uh, Mimi, are you still there? Do you feel like you want to say anything, Brenda? Ah, uh, see, Mark? Did you see that? You let it go, and poof, the answer comes. Good for you, brother. Good for you. Okay. Okay, Mimi. What you want to say? They could if they wanted to. But they didn't, because you know I already asked. Mimi has something to say. Maybe Mimi got their name. No, I don't I don't want you to see the question. I want you to just do what you feel. If you feel like something, just spit it out. If you smell something, just tell us. It doesn't have to make sense. You ladies say something. I know you're feeling it. I can see it. You can see it right, right around there. You may as well get used to it because I'm going to be putting you on the spot all the time. Tart candy, that sounds good. Oh, but Brenda, did you know now that they, uh, well, not just now, they have the big chewy sour sweet tarts. Yum. When I had teeth, I loved those. <laughs> oh, so good. Now they just got to sit over there and soak for a long time. That's too much, so I just don't, I don't buy much, uh, any candy at, anymore. Mark, what are you feeling? Janae, what are you feeling? Donna, if you wanted to ask a question, you can go ahead and do that. Mm, there you go, Brenda. 
And I sent you a link to something good. Oh, damn, I love my peanuts. Oh, sister. Janae, I'm so happy. I bought peanuts instead of Snickers. <laughs> okay, Mark. Good night, brother. I love you. Thank you for being here. Janae, what do you feel? Well, I asked them. You already know because they're asking me to tell you, to ask you what you feel. What do you feel? If you had to pick three names off the top of your head, what would they be? I'm serious. I'm very serious. Because if I know one thing for sure, and I would bet, bet my next disability check on it, we already have the answer. But this stuff makes us doubt ourselves. <laughs> Donna, I thought it was chocolate chip, but it looks like it's peanut butter butterscotch cookies. And they're huge. On a plate for you. Just you. Well, it's like I could hear other kids in the background, but those cookies are just for you. Yes. It looks like you fell down and, and scraped your knee, uh, meaning that you felt bad about something you did or didn't do last week. So that's why you're getting the cookies, because... After you fell down and scraped your knee, and you said, oh, I should have did this, I should have did that, I should I should have, should have, should have, should have, should have. And you said, oh, well, next time I'll try harder. And that's it. That's all, that's all we're supposed to do. And let it go. And you did. So, yeah, she's very proud of you. Looking kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, what is it, uh, June Cleaver? You know, with the A-line skirt. I mean, dress, and that cute little two-inch heel. And, oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. Her uh, kind of dip like that hair, you know? Excuse me. And um, She's showing me her pearl necklace. And they're little tiny, like, three millimeter pearls, uh, Donna. And something about a ring, but it's not, a, it's not the normal kind of ring. It's the ring, uh, I don't know what group of people, nationality, whatever... Um, I want to say Celtic or Irish or something. The ring with the hands, with the heart in the middle of the hands, Donna. Oh, maybe that's why she showed me her dress from far away, you know, so I could see the A-line. You could see her waist in the A-line uh, dress. And then up close, she's showing me her, so I can't see her face. But she's showing me her, her hair. So like after she took the rollers out and she combed it back, it would do a little boop wave thing. And then the up do, up turn up thing. So beautiful. But she's still showing me these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearls. You know? It's just so, because I, I, that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the whole wide world is pearls. I want to go to GMI 
GIA to study pearls. And she's just showing me her beautiful clavicle, by the way. Her, uh, you know, this is your clavicle. And, you know, the, cur the little tiny neck. And she's just showing off her pearls. And I don't know what's up with these pearls, but she's still showing me these pearls, you know. Oh, how beautiful. How beautiful. Okay, so now in addition to the cookies, what is that? Apple crisp? The, yeah, she's showing, she's showing you her hair. I mean, it's like this, see? Look. You see how nice and pretty and shiny it is, and every hair is in place. Was well, she also a beautician? Wow. The dress, the pearls, and the hair she's showing me. Um, and now there's something else. Is she a good cook, too? Smells like apple crisp. It could be a, a cobbler, but I'm thinking it's apple crisp because the top looks, you know, bumpy, 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 bumpy. Like when you put sugar on something and you can see the granules. Oh, yum, it smells so good. Um, she's sitting on the bed crying. But, of course, it's a past memory, of course. But you're thinking she's crying because she's sad, but she's not crying because she's sad. She's crying because she's happy that you achieved another goal or something. So, you know, she's got her handkerchief. I know a lot of us don't remember what those are, but she's got her handkerchief. And she's blotting herself, you know, carefully. And you look to be, I don't know, 15... 15, okay, that's all I'm hearing is 15. And you're like, Mom, it's okay. She's like, oh, no, I'm not sad. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. And she scoops you up, and she just, oh. And you're like, Mom, wake up, Mom. <coughs> Mom, wake up. <coughs> <laughs> you know? So oh, I'm sorry, baby. She's kissing your little tiny face. Oh, little baby. I'm so proud of you. And you're like, gee whiz, if she's this proud, let me do it again. <laughs> you know? Let me do it every day. <laughs> oh, and she's just so, so, so now I could just barely see her hands, and they're like uh, model hands. You remember Marge, the um, dishwasher, the dish soap palm olive lady, where she soaks her hands in palm olive? Um, I don't know if you're old enough to remember that commercial, but anyway, she has... I can see a, a little bit of her hand as she puts it, you know, on your, around your face. And her hands are just flawless, like model hands, you know. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But you've got to remember, she's just right there. Talk to her. Tell her to talk to you in your dreams. She will. And then you'll get better and better and better and better. And then you have all your own answers. Not that I mind you coming to me. I mean, this is my job. This is what I agreed to do before I had skin. And you see, I do it whether I want to or not. Because right about now, I would be waking up from my nap. Starting on a new pendant. <laughs> you know? Ah. Well, unless your daughter has really super short hair. Whoever this is had short, 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 short hair. Listen, don't forget, okay, I, I'm, I'm willing to accept that on your behalf, yet I still don't want you to give your good away, okay? And, yes, of course, we all know it is possible for your daughter to be in your vibration, of course, but I don't think so. But it doesn't matter what I think, it only matters what you think, okay? That's her coming in on your vibration, Okay? You feel good. Oh, good. She's still showing me that pearl necklace. Do you have her pearl necklace? And earrings, she said. 
and there was a ring, but it feels like I can see the ring. I can see the ring. And then it disappears. So I'm thinking at some point in her lifetime, she lost the pearl ring. And she has the earrings with a little tint of blue in them. Oh my God. Oh, drool. Oh man. Um, oh, uh, she mentions that she had one Tahitian pearl. Now, I don't know if you know pearls, but what little I know of pearl, okay, of pearls, you know, those are like the, you know, one is like $1,500 because they're just so fucking perfect and huge. It's, I mean, as far as I know, most, um, most Tahitian pearls are, you know, a, a good size. Okay? And they're damn near flawless. That's why they're... Oh, okay. That's why they're so expensive. And before I go home, I'm going to own one, too. Um, who's Jeff? But then I always get Jeffs mixed up with Freds. So do you know a Jeff and or a Fred? Very close to the other side. He feels old. He feels like he's debating whether to stay or to go. So whoever Jeff and or Fred is, he could be in the hospital and his uh, energy is reaching out to you so you can go and see him before he decides when he wants to go home. Donna. Well, I don't know who he is, but I can see him in the hospital bed clearly. Clearly. Wow. Okay, well, think about it later. Dan, Danny, Donnie, Danny, Dan. Is there a Dan in your vibration? Glasses. Black rims. It kind of has a Superman chiseled. Chiseled. Uh, jaw. And he. When he shaves. You can still see the hair under his skin. So even though he shaves a really close shave. You can see still see his beard. Lining of where his. Hair grows. He's so beautiful, whoever the heck he is. I mean, he look, he's like GQ beautiful. I don't know who he is, honey, but he sure smells good, which tells me he's still on this side. <laughs> Are you looking for a man? Mmm. Well, he smells good. Okay, see, now that taught me something new. Things are changing. You remember, students, I told you things are always going to change? Usually when I smell people, I, yeah, okay, wow, I got I to gotta marinate on that. Okay, thank you, Donna. Um, I'm trying to see, I'm asking him for the message. I'm hearing arguing. Did you guys have a disagreement be uh, months before he went home? You said my dad is a Donald. So does that mean he still has skin? I don't know what they put in this one, but it sure smells good. It 
Donna, are you typing, Donna? I'm waiting on you, Donna. Okay, good. Um, I'm still waiting for a message. Is he feeling okay? Have you talked to him lately? I'm not saying something happened to them. I'm just asking because usually that's the reason why they pop up when they're still on this side. Ah, okay, that's the reason why I see him trying to decide. Okay. So usually for me, when, you know, people pop up and you don't really know, uh, 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 they're on the fence or they're very sick, like, you know, flu or whatever, and they're thinking about you. So, yeah, keep keep calling, leave, leave a voicemail, leave a something. And that's all you have, that's all you have to do if you choose to do it. And that's it. Your work is done. I mean, I imagine you want to know, but if you were doing it just to, you know, clear the air before he goes home or whatever, then your your work is done. Generally, Spirit just wants us to, you know, check in. Then you say, hey, I was just thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow, I was thinking about you, too. Yes, yeah, so, you know, we really need to talk, you know, whenever you have time, blah, blah, okay. And then you talk, oh, I didn't know. And then shit comes out, you know. Or not. And again, you you have free will. You can have a long talk or you can just say, hey, I'm thinking of you. I'm here. You know? <sighs> okay. Good for you. Good for you. You know? Because I got to tell you, I talked to, yeah, neither was mine. And I got to tell you, I'm so happy. I, Hi, Dad. I'm not dead yet. Okay, call you back next Sunday, Dad. And now we talk all the damn time. All the time. He, he like, he's standing right there where the door is. You know, earlier I, I could feel him, you know. It, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. Who saw? Ooh, so it's going to be okay. The only thing you can do is as much as you can do. God sees, you know, Mama sees, she knows, she knows. You all right. You all right. You just keep trying, leave a message. When he re he's ready to call back, he will. Okay? He will. And you stop worrying so much. Why you, you um your job or something? It looks like your job. It looks like there's a whole bunch of papers around you, though that doesn't have to be your job. It feels like a job. You feel so stressed out, you get headaches and shit. I don't want no headache. Don't be giving me her headache. Uh-uh. I had my own headache yesterday. That was good enough for the rest of my life. I'm good. Mm-mm. You need to take a day off and do nothing but what you feel like doing. You no. Know, no kids, cats, dogs, neighbors, nothing, nothing, okay? And if you can't go to, you know, a hotel for a day, then, you know, when the house is uh, quiet and you're alone, you can just stay in your calling sick from work or whatever and stay in your jammies all day, okay? Then call in sick and stay in your jammies all day and, you know, eat your bonbons and... Cracker Jack and watch I Love Lucy all day or Carol Burnett or whatever you like. You have to relax. You you can't get any good you, you know, you can't get any good if you're not relaxed. Okay? Please. Please. It is my belief that this is why sickness was created so you sit your ass down and have to listen. And pay attention, okay? Let mama talk to you. Relax. They got you. Ain't nothing really... I know we humans think it's bad. 
but in comparison to other people's lives that has it a billion times worse than us, it ain't bad. But we think it's bad, you know. Ah. See, the system works. So do you think that was for you or do you think that was for Donna? Probably getting a front frontal lobe headache at the same time. Donna, just one day. Schedule one day for you. See, even Janae is picking up on your headache. You have to. I'm not saying that you're gonna, but by the same token, I know this is what causes the flu and migraines and Oh, I love that name. It sounds like an author's name. <laughs> uh, you know, just put yourself in your schedule to be off. Okay? Please. Please, please, please. Don't have mom moving stuff in your house, because you, they will. They will be moving stuff in your bed. Like, I'm like, where's my other earring? See? Oh my gosh, she already does move stuff in your house, I could tell. And turn the lights on and stuff. They will do that to get you to pay attention. No joke. Okay, what, what happened to your daughter? She sees mom. I mean, grandma. Are you going to tell us about the, oh my God, my daughter? Ah, okay. Good. Wow, that's quite honorable. Way to go. Oh, good. take a day off too <laughs> mm. that's right daughter get on her take a day off things won't get better if you fight it I, I'll put it that way when you don't do what they tell you to do World War 3 isn't going to come about but cold, flu cramps, migraines quite often do. And you say, okay, tomorrow. And then tomorrow turns into next year. Okay, I will tomorrow. I'm just so busy. There's there's not that, that amount of busy to get sick because you didn't take a day off and go to a movie. Oh, hi. I wondered why you typed that. Mmm. <laughs> Probably because they're doing this to get you to be still and pay attention. Tell them. Take it away. Take it away. You gotta, you gotta give instructions, you know. They listen and pay attention too. They have work to do too for, for you. It's not a one-way thing. They're no greater than you. We're no greater than them. Hi, Lauren. How are you doing, Lauren? Thank you, Lauren. And now Mama going to be getting on her, too. Because if you don't do what they say to do, you're going to be, where's my house keys? And they'll fix it to where you can't leave. And if you still don't listen, they'll fix it to where you can't get out of bed. You need to be still and listen. And enjoy your life. You have to find some enjoyment. And we can't just run, 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 like a chicken with our head cut off your whole life. You know, we're not adults. We're just big children. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad to hear that. This is big relaxation. See? 
I bet you felt that as soon as Lauren popped in. Wow. See how wonderful this is? <laughs> I love it. Sorry, Lauren. I'm spending a lot of energy. I'm getting hungry. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate you. Okay, well, open your calendar. Schedule your day. You know? Schedule. Yo, see? See, Donna? We be feeling for ya. Hmm. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Me too. No, I'm kidding. I've got a couple of pendants to make before I go to bed. I love you. Don't forget to be good to yourself, Donna. Lauren, don't forget to be good to yourself and thank you for being here. Anybody else have any parting words? Because I'm ready to hang up and eat something. besides my peanuts. See, and you could be feel amazing every day. <laughs> well, I'll tell you all now. Spirit told me to be on more. So, I don't know what their schedule is, but I'm having a feeling it's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So get your questions ready, and I usually always say I'm going to go live in five, so you might want to get the notices or touch the thing. Let me see. If you're looking at me, it should be up in that corner over there, the three dots. Touch the three dots, and touch receive notification when going live or something like that. And I love you. I love you. I love you, everybody. And I will see you all next time. I love you guys. Bye.